Hi everyone, my name is Claire Curry, Science Librarian here at the University of Oklahoma Libraries. Today, in video 8 of the Options for Remote STEM Research video series, we're going to talk about spatial data resources. We're going to be looking at guides.ou.edu slash geography for our research guide on some common data sources. So you can get to our research guide by going to guides.ou.edu slash geography, but I'm going to show you how to get here through the library's main page. So we'll go to libraries.ou.edu. We start here at the top of the page and we need to scroll all the way to the bottom to get to the resources by subject. So there's resources by subject. We're going to scroll down until we find geography and GIS. This takes us to a general landing page shows your subject librarian, which is me, Claire Curry. And we're going to scroll down and look on the right for research guides. We want the Geography and Geographic Information Science Research Guide. This takes you to the Geography and Geographic Information Science Research Guide. You will see my contact info over here on the right. You can email me or schedule an appointment. So as always, I'm happy to discuss anything in this video or anything related to these subject areas. What we're going to do next is look over here on the left. We have a bunch of different topics and we're going to click on researcher resources. We're now going to look at some resources. We're going to look at common data sets that you can get. The GIS software and GIS tutorials, we'll mention some of those in video 10 about working with your spatial data. So we're going to go ahead and click on spatial data sets over here on the left under researcher resources. This is going to take you down to an overview of a lot of common places that you can find layers for geographic information, census data, and so on. At the top here, you'll see some general guides, one for an Oklahoma-based guide for finding GIS data in the state. Geospatial data preservation may be useful if you're a data manager on a project. And GeoNames covers over 11 million place names. For global data, we have a lot of resources that are geographically sorted. Some have GIS data, some do not, as in data one. Um, likewise with the census data and the IPUMS data. Gapminder is a teaching resource that's geographically based. Esri Open Data Hub is often a good place to start when you're looking for general data such, such as uh, country boundaries, county boundaries, and so on. We're now going to keep scrolling down and we're going to look at United States specific data. The Geospatial Data Gateway is often good for natural resources data, such as soil types, elevation, and so on. Census Bureau is a commonly used one. And then a lot of government agencies, USGS, USBLM, US Fish and Wildlife, and other regional associations may provide data that are United States specific. Going to the Oklahoma level, Oklahoma Maps is often a good place to start. It has all sorts of layers from highways to streams. When you're looking for more specific topics, the water survey, the geological survey, and ecological system mapping can be particularly helpful. And if you're doing more historical work, the Oklahoma digitized aerial photographs and Sanborn fire insurance maps can be particularly helpful. In this video, we've covered common data set sources. Up next, we're going to discuss how to find or make your own data sets if these common sources don't have what you need. And if you're not already familiar with using spatial data, where to find resources on using the data that you found. We'll have a live Q&A for the spatial data video set on June 9th from 3 to 4.30 p.m. Digital Scholarship Specialist Theo Acker and Head of Digital Scholarship Tara Carlisle will be joining us, as well as my fellow science librarian, Brent Tweedy. We'll be answering your spatial data questions live on Twitter during this time period. If you'd like more information on this, you can go to libraries.ou.edu slash events, and there's no registration required for this event. Read us a question or email me a question to have it answered live on Twitter during the 3 to 4.30 p.m. timeframe, June 9th. All of these videos will also be announced on the University of Oklahoma Library's Twitter, as well as the video set will be announced on the Davis listserv. If you go to our page, libraries.ou.edu slash Davis, you can scroll down to the listserv subscription and be notified of videos. You can view past videos in this series, which include the series overview and a webinar on meta-analysis, at bit.ly slash OUSTEMYT. Please contact me if you have any questions or comments. I'm happy to talk. Thanks for joining us, and stay safe out there.